record and then turn it off. Maybe I should do this. Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. So it seems this fall, a lot of people are wearing leather. I decided to come up with a video of just several outfits that you can come up with. If you have a leather jacket, leather pants. So this is a simple basic tee that I'm wearing. I thought this white long sleeve would just go well with all the different types of leather I'll be wearing in this video. So one thing you can never go wrong is wearing blazers with leather pants. I personally will wear this outfit to work obviously my stomach wouldn't be showing with like a basic white tee and a leather jacket and a blazer super simple and then you can throw on like boots or sneakers but in this case i wear sneakers because you guys already know i don't have boots and another way you can wear leather pants is obviously with a long sleeve button up and then I threw on my combat boots just to switch it up a little bit this is another item you can wear with leather pants Another item that goes super well with leather pants is definitely oversized sweaters. Underneath wearing something collared, I went with white because I thought white and the sweater would look great together. And then for the shoes, I switched out my sneakers and put on my combat boots. And I think this look is super cute, very simple, not too crazy. Another way you can wear leather pants is with a crop top or a sweater vest. Just like layering, I think it looks really good. Very simple. You got the layering going on on top. Sneakers, I had to switch out to my sneakers for this outfit because, I don't know, I think the overall look is very casual. So I wanted to go with sneakers this time. I think this colorway is super cute, super muted. If you imagine it with a tote bag, it would be what's trending right now okay guys so this outfit i don't know just a lot of dark colors going on but i think the shirt contrasts that really well which is why i purposely picked this vintage shirt i could have gone with like a white vintage t-shirt sure whatever leather on leather you can never go wrong with that and maybe like a beanie would have gone well with this outfit too maybe the sneakers could have been switched out with boots but you guys know that i only have my combat boots so don't be a hater love the pop of green contrasting with all the black and gray that's going on this outfit is super cute. I would wear this outfit right now, but I'll probably wear this outfit the next time I go out. But YouTube saw it first. But for the jeans, those are orange labeled vintage Levi's. For my shoes, I threw on my combat boots because I wanted to keep the leather going. On the inside, I am wearing um, Birthday Girl Shop tank top. I just love how the orange pop. I want like a pop of color. You can definitely see me talking in these videos because I'm also on FaceTime as well as talking to people in the room. I'm just enjoying my time filming this for you guys the outfits just keep getting better i think the outfits in the beginning were showing you like the basic foundations of a white shirt and then the different types of items that you compare with leather pants but now we're just exploring into the different options that i have i'm wearing my leather coat i got from my parents this coat is really nice because it's actually in the size x small if you guys don't know my height i'm 510 so having a coat that isn't awkward length but also looks like a coat pretty hard to find for the pants i'm wearing my lula pants from tyler mcgill on top i'm wearing my zara tank top and for the shoes i'm wearing my boots once again i just want to keep the leather going this outfit i kept it very similar to the beginning outfits having that basic white tee underneath threw on some blue denim because i think blue denim looks really good with leather leather just looks good with everything i wanted to wear at least one pair of blue denims in this video i kind of wanted to take on this idea of having a layered look when you tie the coat together the collared white shirt underneath kind of pops out giving it like this trench coat layered look to it i personally like this outfit i don't know how some of you guys might feel but i definitely have seen bitches in New York wearing this shit. I got my inspiration from that, just keeping that collared look alive. Alright, so for this next outfit, don't know how I feel about it. Actually, looking at it right now, I'm like, eh, iffy about it. I just kept the white long sleeve, threw on the leather coat on top, and I kind of have these baggy dress pants that I wanted to wear. I mean, I style this look very simple. I think if you have a different top underneath, it would definitely be cuter. But overall, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it should look like or what it could look like. I think having baggy pants with it, it is cute, but you just want to be on the safe side because being too baggy, might make you look like a full-on trash bag this is a horrible example so do not judge my styling based on this outfit 
All right, guys, so jumping right into this next outfit, this is a really good example of a mid-size length coat where it fits right between your knees and upper thighs. This coat is super heavy, so it has a lot of fur inside it. Mind you, it has some weight to it. That's why I just wore one layer underneath. I only have one color turtleneck, so don't be a hater. It's like, why are you wearing all black? Well, I only have a black turtleneck. I wanted to go for like an all black look. I feel like not a lot of people can pull this off. And I threw on my running shoes because mom's shoes just go well with anything, but it looks good. So there you have it. Okay guys, we're finally at the last outfit, one of my favorite outfits of this video. For the pants, I'm wearing these mismatch design pants that I got from 604 Service. They also sell it at Cafe Forgo, forgot, I say Forgo, I think it sounds better that way, but whatever, we can have that discussion later. But for the shirt, I went with the basic, just simple white top. You guys could switch it up, you could wear like a white t-shirt with it or a different color tank top. And for the shoes, I threw on my green Jordans because I wanted there to be a pop of color still and I still went with that mid-size coat. But this is the fit. And I love it. There you have it. I hope you guys like how I style leather. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. But until the next time, I hope you guys stay safe and don't forget to wear your masks and also get your boosters.